Welcome back to PWA for Beginner Series. Today we're starting chapter three, where we're gonna show you all of the cool developer toolings to get started in auditing and packaging your progressive web apps. I am Beth, I'm a software engineer for Microsoft. Um, today here in the studio with me is Justin. Yep. Justin, can you introduce yourself a little bit? Yep, so I'm Justin Willis. I'm a software engineer here at Microsoft working on um, PWAs with Beth. Um, and yeah, very excited about today. Awesome. So let's get started and recap a little bit about why we build a progressive web app. Yeah, so um, there's honestly, so progressive web apps kind of bring like the best of the, the web and um, like the native side of things together. Um, but there's a lot of really cool like uh, advantages you get from going with a PWA over like a, you know, uh, another app technology. Um, so because it's combining like the best of the, the web and native, you can, you know, uh, broaden your reach. So you can deploy your app to the web where people can just get to it with the URL. Um, and you know, that, that, that's one way people can get into your application, but then you can also go to the app stores like we'll talk about later. Um, it's also, you know, seamless updates behind the scenes. So a user doesn't have to like open up uh, the Microsoft store or whatever app store they may be using to um, update their app. Um, it all just kind of happens behind the scenes because it's a web app. Um, and yeah, there's just, I mean, as because it is just like any other web app, it's HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. As you know, as far as it's like issues and stuff like that, it's basically as fast as you fix it, you can have the update out to um, out to your users. So yeah, that's just I think a couple of the top advantages of going uh, and why you should build a PWA. So show us an example. For sure. So what um, PWA look like? Yes. So um, we're going to start off with and let me close DevTools real quick. So this is an application that I have built. Um, it's just a demo PWA that we have on our team. Um, let me open up. And so basically, this is an image editing app. Um, you can see like Agave there um, from, Door from DoorDash. And I can, you know, of course, uh, change the image and that kind of thing. But this is one way that I can get into you know, my PWA, because again, it is just a link. Um, but as you can see, I can really start the magic here when I go to open my PWA. And at this point, we now have you know an app that is running just like any other app on Windows. Um, as you can see, it's you know and it's it's in its own window. Um, it's in my taskbar. It will show up in my um, start menu, of course, just like this other PWA or Twitter. Um, and yeah, this is what a PWA looks like on Windows. Awesome. So that's our recap on why would you build a progressive web app. And here on the screen are some of the resources that you can go explore on this topic on your own. And in the next video, we're just going to go ahead and get start yep. building one. Yep, hopefully. Stay tuned. <laughs>